So just imagine you wake up in the middle of the night and you or a loved one of your family has chest pain. So you're frantic, you call 911, you know, and you ask for ambulance to come and ambulance gets there. You pass out and you wake up to them shaking you. They just shock your heart to go back into a normal sinus rhythm and they quickly get you to the emergency department because you need to get medical attention. You get there and the doctor tells you you need to have coronary artery bypass drafting. And what that is, your heart, you have arteries in your heart and they basically deliver oxygen to your heart so it can pump. Basically just gives it nutrients. And there's three main arteries, LAD, a circumflex, which wraps around the back, and a right coronary artery, which goes around the back as well. And when you have blockages in your arteries, it reduces blood flow. And sometimes they can be fixed with stents and balloons, and sometimes they can't. The blockages are really bad. When they're really bad, they use a thing called coronary artery bypass grafting. And the situation I just described is not that uncommon. The American Heart Association uh, research stated that approximately 425,000 people died in 2006 from acute myocardial infarction, which is a heart attack. That's one out of every six people. And they also predict that this year alone, 1.2 million people will experience acute myocardial infarction. And like I said, cabbage was one of the best ways to fix it. But with new technology, they developed new principles and new procedures to do the same thing. The old cabbage, they literally split your chest open all the way down to about 12 inches. A large incision, they spread your ribs, they break your ribs, crack them open. They place your, they move your actual lungs to the side and they cut the floor of another cavities around your heart so they can actually get to your heart. And it's actually, they have to put you under anesthesia and it's, it's a very, very difficult procedure to do. Um, and three of the worst things of cabbage are your actual, the actual incision site, uh, chance of infection, uh, hospital stay, and your recovery. All those are very long things. But with new techniques from the davinci-surgery.com, they have a robot which has come out in the last few years, especially this last year. They actually have a robot where they can do the same exact procedure, but they can do four slit incisions between your ribs, two in the front, two in the back, and they can do the same exact procedure with just minimally invasive wounds. So three things from the National Institute of Health, it reduces the scar, because these people walk around with a scar, it's actually stitched. They wire the sternum back to the ribs. It reduces the scar, which reduces your chances of infection, because one of the big things now in healthcare, if you've heard about it, is called MRSA. It's methylcellin resistant sap aureus. It's a type of bacteria in a lot of hospitals that are resistant to antibiotics. So there's really no way to stop them from spreading. And by reducing your chances of infection, you, re you reduce your length of stay in the hospital, which is a big problem because it's a lot of money to stay in the intensive care unit. Um, and also, with this new procedure, the actual length of stay or for the time you stay at the hospital and your recovery time are short because these patients they have to go home and they have to get care at home as well and a lot of the elderly patients they can't recover very well i mean they could be at least in the hospital for at least a week they have to go through many different rehabilitations and many different exercises they have to go through reinflating their lungs from the anesthesia they've been on they have to splint themselves when they cough so the chest pressure when they cough doesn't injure the wound. They may have to get wound care at home. Um, many of these things, especially with this new technology, will be averted or at least reduced and would make the mortality rate much more lower than it would be with the uh, average coronary bypass grafting. And another thing that's big with this procedure is when they did the traditional coronary artery bypass grafting, they put the patients on a pump where they literally stop the heart from pumping so they could do this procedure. And what they do, they take veins out of your legs, they harvest veins, and they tie them into your aorta, which pumps blood out to the rest of your body, which oxygenates the rest of your body. And they basically tie in the vein here where the blood's coming out, and they loop the veins past the blockages from the coronary, so distal to that blockage. They are now getting blood flow, and also fills backward, which is called retrograde. Now, another, the big thing about this procedure is with the new Da Vinci robot, 
they don't have to stop the heart from pumping, which means they don't have to go on a machine. There's actually a machine they hook up to your body, and it pumps the blood to the machine. The machine oxygenates your blood while you're doing the procedure and sends it back to your body. It's just like your heart, actually. But with this procedure now, also with Da Vinci, it anesthetizes the specific part of the heart that they want to work on. And it paralyzes that part of the heart, so they don't have to stop the whole heart. And also, that's that's reduces a lot. That's not as severe on the patient, so the recovery time is a lot shorter. And also, another thing that Vinci does is bypass or actual uh, valve replacement. The valves to your heart, which shut when you're in diastole, you open when you're in systole, to allow blood flow. Sometimes those valves are bad, and they repair the valves the same way by splitting your chest open with this huge scar. Well, now they can go in with Da Vinci and they can do valve replacement just like this without the scar and everything, reducing length of stay, infection, recovery time, all that. So, in conclusion, with this new technology we have, we're very, I think we're very lucky to be able to have it at our dispense and hopefully it continues to advance. So, if any of us have problems like that, we'll be able to have a quick recovery and a reduced chance of infection, lower power rate for a procedure like we go through with this as well.